NHL 24 is here, and this year they promised really big changes. And I mean, it's another sports game. How different can they really get every year? Let's find out. We're going to be taking a look at the reveal trailer they gave us this year and see if the changes they made or things they added are just really good or irrelevant. The overall game is a 7 out of 10 right off the bat. NHL games are the worst sports games on the market. It seems that EA just doesn't put a lot of care into them, and the presentation, it just, it's so boring compared to other ones right now. All right, let's get on with it. They added crossplay. That's cool, I guess. It doesn't really affect me because all my friends are nerds, including me. But you know what? Good for EA by being modern with crossplay. Give it up. Oh, game changer. The exhaust engine. Oh, they just lied to us. It's not a game changer. Okay, the exhaust engine is new, and what it does is it creates more chances on offense and wears out the defense and the goalie. But the main problem is that it's stupid and it doesn't work. Goalie fatigue means that it won't save rebounds. The goalies never saved rebounds before. And goalies are still buffs, so your deeks and your one-timers still don't work when they're gassed. And if you get full pressure, it only lasts for 30 seconds. What? Pressure can go up to five minutes in the real world. Having pressure is not just some power up. It's something you get after working hard and putting shots on net for a long time. So you could be putting pressure on for like three, four, five minutes. And it doesn't matter because every 30 seconds it just resets. What? They also talk about strategy while having pressure on. We'll talk about strategy later. The physics-based contact feature revolutionizes checking in NHL 24. Either I'm stupid and still think hitting is with the right stick, or either it's dumb and the game is bad. Okay, so I just looked on Reddit and realized that it's like a um, slap shot now. You know, I think I couldn't figure it out because they made their main control scheme total control this year, so everything else is gone. Hybrid NHL 94 controls out of. The new total control buttons are totally unwelcoming to new players. So have fun. And yeah, if you miss a body check, then it creates chances for the other team. Like how it's always been. That's what hockey is. Peter, you can now send players into the bench and break the glass. You always could have done that. Just put it out there. Player to the game. Tick, tack, toe. Vision Passing puts tape-to-tape -tape play with your teammates at your fingertips. You know what, I kind of like this addition, but realistically, this would never work. Now, yes, it is cool, but every single player on the ice has a specific button that you have to press. So, if you hold down right trigger and see all the passing options, you have to look to where that certain player is. And by the time that happens, boom, body check, turnover. Hockey is a fast game, and I don't have time to look at every single button that I have to press. I should just automatically hard pass to the person that has the best chance of scoring. They also add a new goalie controls, but I don't play goalie in Shell, so if anyone can let me know how it feels, I will gladly read your comment. So NHL 24, was it good or was it bad? It was bad. The things they added just really slows down the game and adds more strategy, which it's a video game. I'm just trying to have fun here. And the whole thing of just like destroying the opponent is kind of gone now because the goalies still are buffed and the game is trying to put like something slower on you, I feel. It's just not as fun as it used to be. Plus problems that we've had in the past, like simulation and the new HUD that's like on the bottom part of the screen that which no one likes is still all there. So instead of fixing actual complaints that we have, EA just keeps adding random things that we don't really need and don't add too much to the game. We've also never really had a major gameplay change since NHL 16. Yeah, that was eight years ago. Overall, I'll give this game a four out of 10. That was kind of, that was bad.